Being a filmmaker from New Zealand is really, I think it, it, it's, it's really influences the way I see the world and, and the stories that we tell. What got me into filming and directing? Well, um, I think it was actually wanting to tell my own stories. Uh, but um, I, in fact, my very last week at school, at high school, we were allowed to do anything and uh, they had an old 16 millimeter camera there. So I took that out and um, shot a couple of things with my schoolmates, but uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't particularly good. So I'd always had a bit of a passion for it because my dad actually used to run a cinema in Nelson in Wakefield, a little place called Wakefield. So um, we always watched a lot of movies um, when we were kids. And, um, so there'd always been a little, uh, a little obviously a bug um, wanting to you know, pursue film. There was quite a lot happening in films down in Queenstown at the time, and so we got jobs on. There's a fantastic New Zealand film called Her Last Sweet Energy, and we were filming in Central Otago in high summer. And in a lot of those places we were filming, it's all underwater now because the dam, they built the Clyde Dam, and it was the old remnants of the Chinese huts and things along the river. It was absolutely fantastic, and so now they're all underwater, so we were pretty lucky to be some of the last people to actually be, be around there. So I'd always had a passion for, uh, I loved family movies and um, a few years ago we started, Andy Gunn and myself who's uh, my co-writer, we decided to write a, our first feature film which was a, a little movie called Kiwi Flyer based around the Nelson Trolley Derby which is where I grew up. They've, they've had a trolley derby there for like 60 years and uh, still growing strong today and uh, so we decided to make a movie based around that. And, uh, so that was a couple of years ago they came out. I think the hardest thing about making films in New Zealand is, well anywhere actually, is to raise the money to make them. It's like in a really expensive business. If the story's right, then people buy into, into that and then you can raise the money. But um, it's about getting the story right and, and the right type of story that funding bodies are interested in or distributors are interested in because often they're, they're quite different beasts. You know, the funding body wants a certain type of film but the distributor, they want to make money and the exhibitors want to make money, so often they, they uh, are not completely in sync. Marketing's really changed in New Zealand, especially, well, anywhere around the world with social media. In the old days, it was mainly just in the newspapers and um, maybe something on television. Um, but now it's like probably the majority I think would have to be be things like Facebook and and Instagrams and Twitters and things like that. But that saying that, it's like then you have just put as much time into actually keeping those those mediums up to date, and so that's a full time job of people on Facebook and everything like that. So there's probably have to put more effort into these new ways of marketing than ever before. And even with a New Zealand film, you would have to probably spend five times as much money or as much effort into getting your movie out there as opposed to an overseas film where they just have a sort of all the stuff sent to them. So it's a bit of a machine for them where as a, a Kiwi movie has to actually create unique and different ways of marketing themselves so they can stand out from the crowd and just um, so people know they're out there. Uh, Kiwi Christmas is my new project and it's the story of Santa going AWOL to New Zealand 
any crash lands at a beach where a separated family find him washed up and they take him under their wing and um, he settles into life in the camp. Um, but meanwhile, the Coast Watch think an illegal alien has come into the country so they go undercover to, to find out this person and apprehend him. Today we're down at the beach at Mairangi Bay and we're going to have our family out fishing. Santa will be in the, in the boat as well. So we're just waiting for the cast to get mic'd up and uh, then we'll put them in. We're only just going to do it offshore a bit so um, it's all in sort of waist deep water and then we'll cheat it at, an, at another location of where they're fishing. So we'll get a shot of that later. So it's just a, a good fun family comedy. and. Uh, we wrote, Andy and I wrote that, um, oh, probably about started just after the Kiwi Flyer, so that's about four years ago, but it took us a long time to get a, a script written, and it takes about at least a year to write that. And, uh, and then we applied for funding and raised some money. So um, finally, after we've got, we've had six weeks in production with one week to go, and we are going to go out in Christmas of 2017, so um, we're hoping it's going to be a, a success. It's, it's going to be booked at cinemas up and down the country, and we've got a distribution, big distribution company behind it, so we'll um, get it noticed. Because like the thing about making a movie is you can make the best movie in the world, but if no one knows about it, no one's going to go and see it. So we have to not only make it, but then you have to make a lot of noise that the movie's out there. So it's about getting, getting the, the, the movie out there so people know it's there and then they can make a choice to come and see it. Just do your own thing. Just do your own thing is what it is. Tell your own stories. Just do your own thing. That would be the best piece of advice I can give. Everybody's different. So I didn't want to, I didn't feel that I had so we were just straight into the action, you know. So, you know, so um, as you've seen, we've just been filming everything from the from in the water. So now we're just going to put the camera inside the boat and get the close-ups on Santa. So that's what we're going for those to, for the sequence. So um, you can see we're all we're all getting wet here, <laughs> but the water's warm. Fantastic.